We're partnering up today with Campers Unlimited to give you the 2018 versus the 2021 337 reflection and what's new. Keep watching. We went to Campers Unlimited, which is in Gadsden Rainbow City area. It's about 57 miles up 59 from Birmingham. We're uh, out here at RVs Unlimited and we're fixing to go through a new 2021 337. We have a couple here that has had a Imagine and they're upgrading to the 337. They're finishing their walkthrough and then they're gonna let us walk through. And hey, they're friends of us on YouTube. The very first obvious thing that's new about the 2021s is the paint schemes, inside and out. The outside has a white with black, and it really gives it a great modern look compared to the old color. Also, the inside is a lot more bright and airy with the new gray color schemes. Looks different. It looks a lot. <laughs> Not a star. Yes, correct. It's all the light colors and stuff. I love all the colors and everything. It's well, got a bench. You wouldn't like that. Well, you're correct. I have I've taken our table out and I made me a it's table, a desk, a desk okay. so you can sit out and look. So, but this is the only good thing about this is shoe. Oops, you gotta do that. But shoe storage. Shoe storage. Shoe storage. Look, that's the only thing I can say that, like, I haven't been able to figure out, like, when you first walk in, right. a place to put your shoes, you right. know? Right. This is something else that's changed. This, ours is two drawers, and this right. is just one big single one. Right. Yeah, that's cool. It's got, like, a charging up here, and you could put all your different stuff up there. Yeah, you could actually put your phones and stuff. Yeah, because all our phones are end up being laying right here. I think you just put them up there. That's but nice. There is no plugs back here. Oh. Uh, so you got lots We got one here, here and there. there. Uh, yeah, one right here. They're up top. Okay, they're not on the wall. Okay. Yeah. I don't know that I like the plugs being up there. Yeah, I don't, I don't like that. Either. Because like my coffee pot is sitting there and then they have a cork up at the top. Here, where we have the awning in and out for our second awning, this one does not have that here. Is it inside the panel? Which I think that's better because I think it's crazy because you have to go and turn this one and then go over there and turn that one and you can just do both of them at the same time. Turn it on probably. Hey, did that light just come on when you walked up at the top? It did. <laughs> it's gotta be a sensor somewhere. It's just gonna be up. Oh, I see. They added a light. It's got a light with a sensor right there. Yeah, sure does. And then you've got the separate lights. Wow. You can get it really bright in there, can't yeah. you? So that is different. That is different. We added this bar that's not on ours. I like this. I think this is prettier. Does it look the same back there? Yeah, pretty much. It's a little rounded, though. I mean, it's a little different. Ours, isn't it more squared off? I think ours is more squared off. These look like they're back further. I think ours are more out. And now we're not gonna have our camper to compare it to, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this comes out further. And I don't remember that being rounded. Yeah, I think it's that's the difference there. Mm -hmm. And then they've got the uh, this. It's different because ours was brown leather, and then that's that gray. I don't know why, but I feel like there's more room here. I mean, I don't... Yeah, it does seem like it. 
I don't know if that's smaller. Or, I don't know. It's about. You think it's about the same? Time you put sheets and all that. Yeah, in there. that's true. Let me. But these lights are censored here. Light censored. <laughs> that one's censored. Was that Wi Fi? Well, a wine guard. I did a little research, and that's the Compass Connect that's on the new 2021s. I will give you a link to Grand Design's YouTube page that will show you what that is all about. This is different. The color scheme is obviously different. Like this is different and that's different. I like these handles better, they're prettier. And I like the color scheme. Still hate the window that I love. Our, ours is not glass. Ours is just wood. See, and you know, I don't like this glass because I have covered up most of our glass and ours. Because I've covered this glass up, I've covered that glass up. But yeah. This is a little different. They changed this a little bit. Oh, yeah. They did. Definitely pretty. I like these lights too, better than mine. They changed the tail lights. It's got LED tail lights now, where ours has the regular bowl tail lights. Um, I've added five wire plug for your trailer lights here on the back in case you're hauling something or got something attached to the to the back of it. They have added they have added 110 plug here and cable and satellite in and out or cable and satellite out so that if you want it to set up a little entertainment center outside of course you'd have to have a table or, or something to set the TV and the receiver on they've added that on the outside that's something ours does not have things that are on these that are not on ours controllers oh one. yeah but overall, this looks the same. Does ours have? Yes. Okay. I don't ever see the bottom of that because you know we have so much stuff in there. Auto level? It's got controllers outside. And you set your hitch height and your retract all. Oh, see ours doesn't have that either, does it? That makes it easier so you're not having to run around and in and out. Can't be doing that. 
this place would keep you from doing that. That Campers Unlimited, it was like a really good like little family filling camping store. I like it all going to try It wasn't to go. like a corporate business like a camping world or this car can fly that way. Like a camping world or something to that effect where it's real corporate feeling. This was more neighborhood feeling. Yeah, they were super nice. Uh, met a really nice couple that they let us tour their new 337 they were actually picking up today because they can't even keep them at the store anymore. He's got had that one that came in this week and those people are picking up. He's got another one coming in and it's already sold. It's supposed to be there sometime today. So it's their sales is like crazy right now, he said. He said he could sell them as quick as he can get them. The problem is is getting them with all this COVID stuff. The manufacturers are behind getting the campers to them. So that's, that's the only tough issue they're having right now is getting the campers to be able to sell. Yeah, so it was... I love the new color scheme of the, the 2021. The inside and outside of the color schemes. You said you like the outside of the color schemes. Yes. That's probably the biggest difference of the two. Yeah, I really like the way they done the outside. I like the white and black a little better than the brown and black that we have. But and the inside's real bright, airy. It's got like a lots of whites and grays and just the colors that they picked are a lot better. Now there was a couple of things that I did not like is I did not like on, on the buffet they uh, they moved the plugs from the back up into the top so you couldn't see them but I keep my like coffee pot plugged in there and it's on the back side if I had it there you would have to run it up so you would see the cord going up to the ceiling or not to the ceiling but up to the top of the, the buffet I don't know that I would like that, but they did have really like a little charging station where you could put your bones up in a little cubby and they wouldn't be laying all over the place. I did like that. And I, I like, and this is another one that's like a love-hate thing. The new table comes with like a bench on one side where you can open it up and it has tons of storage. It would be great for like shoes, but I love how we rearranged our table, took it out and made a desk. But I really did like the bench, how it worked. I didn't like the fact they moved the awning switch that's in the yes. dining room on ours into the control panel with the other controls. Yes. I, like, I like that they done that. They added more motion sensor lights throughout too. Right. So uh, ours and, has a couple, but theirs had more. Yeah. And I'm not sure if I'm late. We keep ours turned off the motion sensor lights a lot just because. A lot of times when you're just walking through, you don't want the light to pop on and off. But I think a lot of people like that because, you know, you get up and move and the light, because like you went to the bathroom and the light came on. Because he walked to the bathroom and I'm like, hey, wait, I think the light just popped on. And then it added the uh, plug on the back of the camper. That was added new, too. Yeah, but they're not going to have a whole lot of people going to be triple towing. Yeah. And then I did like on the outside, we, we've got our TV set up under the uh, under the belly, but they did add a plug and a cable hookup so that if you wanted to have a TV that moves around outside, it would be easy to hook it up outside. That was another feature that I thought was really nice. Yeah, it's just an added there. Um, I wouldn't want to do that because I wouldn't want to have to move the TV and the box and all that in and out. But somebody who does do that, also had a control panel mounted outside for auto level and uh, memory set for your hitch height and all that so you didn't actually have to go in and open it up and do everything on the inside uh, of the cargo bay the, and it looks like the controls are totally new and updated on the inside for the leveling system issues. This is the second time we've had issues with our leveling system. It'll still work manually, but it's not working on auto level. It's given me a fault error on one of the jacks, but that's the second time we've had that issue. But um, You're always going to have small issues here and there when you own a camper, especially
pressure when you live in the state of Alabama because the roads are like speed bumps going all the way down the interstates. We were talking to the couple that's buying that camper and we were talking about this and the, the gentleman had a very good scenario because when we were standing up there talking, we were saying, when you own a camper, you're going to have problems. It's how the problem is handled. And he said, as long as you go into buying a camper knowing that it's going to have problems, it's a lot better off. Don't think just because you bought a brand new camper that it's going to work perfect and you're not going to have problems because every camper has problems. Everybody has problems. It's just, you think about it, you're carrying your home down the road and it's bouncing around. Thinking of taking your house, lifting up, up beams up under wheels on it and haul it all around a place where it's twisting and bumping and bouncing, you're going to have issues. And, you know, Grand Design has been pretty pretty good about taking care of most of the issues that we've had. So that's, that's the main thing. The problem we have is when you call up a place and they say, well, we can get you in here in two months. Then you get the, you take the camper there and they keep it another two months. So now you're four months without your camper. So that's why we decided to give a call up here to Campers Unlimited and they said bring it on, we'll take it and we'll get it done. So we'll see see how all that turns out and give y'all an update on that. Because that link to me has been the biggest thing. When you go buy a camper, you gotta think about where you're buying it at. That's gonna be the place most likely you're gonna have service, and that's the part that you need to know if they're good or not because when we bought our camper, they were super nice when we bought our camper, but the service part of it has not been good. And I'm not gonna uh, say their name, but I'll link you the video of where we picked ours up. Well, <laughs> the people in the service were super nice and everything. I don't know, they just made me so far behind and undermanned. You know, I don't wanna say they're not good people or anything like that, but they've made a few mistakes and they've kept our camper for a long period of time and not done any work to it. They did tell us that they were waiting on Grand Design. Grand Des they couldn't do anything till they got to Grand Design contacted them and we called Grand Design and they, Grand Design had never received a request from them for a work order. So, you know, stuff like that you gotta have faith in. And, uh, but it, it, it is upsetting when you don't have your camper for four months on end just to have one or two little issues taken care of. Yeah. Pick up our camper in a few weeks and I will update you on that process. Um, I did this video here on about taking your camper in for service. So I will probably add that to it if it doesn't take too long or whatever because I've got two separate videos I've done today. Also, Kelly here talked to the service rider went over a few little pointers that she wanted to get out there that everybody should know about what to do and not to do when you do carry your camper to have it service done. So be on the lookout for that video as well. Well, all right then. Well, we are headed home. We will be going to Helen, Georgia at the first part of September. We'll be taking you along. We are not taking the camper because we couldn't find a camping spot because so many people are camping right now and so many people are buying campers that <laughs> we, we can't make a quick decision trip. We're going to end up having to put solar so we can go boondocking. I won't make it boondocking. I will use all, like, you'll be like, all the water's gone. Uh, hey, our great tank is full. That would be me. <laughs> want to say again, thank you to all our new subscribers and we will see you in a few weeks when we go. <laughs> Until next time, please like and subscribe.